you guys, there's a housing stimulus that no one is talking about that may go live this summer. But instead of the stimulus coming from the government, which I mean, indirectly comes from you anyway, this stimulus is coming from, you may want to come closer for this, your house. So clearly I'm starting this thing off with sarcasm because I have a lot to say about this so-called proposal that the media is pushing and your favorite internet real estate gurus are like, oh yeah, second mortgages are coming, woo. If the government inserts themselves similar to the first lien, the first mortgages, where essentially they free up capital and they do give a level of insurance to lenders, which is then able to pass on a better rate to you and also more flexibility for you to qualify. Now, the negative about this is, why do you need to take on more debt? And most specifically, why do you need to take your mortgage balance from here to here? All because, I don't know, you need to survive. <laughs> also, look at this most ridiculous art article out, one out of many, the U.S. could give homeowners a $980 billion stimulus at no additional cost, Oracle of Wall Street says. Okay, first off, the U.S. is not giving you anything. Let's just start there. Number two, the $980 billion stimulus, they are referring to the equity that is untapped. Number three... This is the effective marketing part. They, you know, when you quote someone uh, who has, who's credible, the Oracle of Wall Street says, you guys, okay, the Oracle of Wall Street is this analyst on Wall Street named Meredith Whitney, and she was an analyst who predicted the great financial crash of 2008. And so my biggest thing with all of this is, do, have we not learned anything from the great financial crash? crisis. Whitney points out that Americans are sitting on a massive and growing pile of home equity, but little of that is being tapped. More widely available home equity loans would be a boon in particular for older Americans who are taking on more debt than other age groups and are at growing risk of a financial shock. Okay, stop. Let's stop right there. Like I said, that is, this is kind of predatory. What do you mean older Americans who are at growing risk of financial shock? They're on a freaking fixed income and the prices went from here to here. What do you think is going to happen? Approval would also be well-timed. The proposal noted that options are limited for homeowners who want to tap their equity, meaning that few are benefiting from the housing market's appreciation. Okay, what do you mean few are benefiting? You benefit from your home appreciation when you are ready to sell. <laughs> you benefit from your home appreciation when you are ready to pass it down to a family member. You benefit from your home appreciation when you're actually going to use your money to leverage yourself, not to combat the foolery that goes on. For the many homeowners who purchase or refinance their homes during a period of lower mortgage rates, a traditional cash out refinance today may pose a significant financial burden as it requires a refinancing of the entire outstanding loan balance at a new and likely much higher interest rate. Because you guys know most people have two to three percent interest rates and to refinance a five hundred thousand dollar mortgage, the entire thing all because you need maybe, you know, a hundred grand that the interest is going to be like. So that is, of course, the benefit of doing a second mortgage because you can just leave that first mortgage right there. And then you get the second mortgage. So less. So like I said, if you want just a hundred thousand, and even though it's a hundred thousand at maybe a six or seven percent, that's less of a financial impact to you. Freddie Mac's participation seeks to offer a cost-effective alternative. According to Whitney, part of the issue as to why households have so few have so few affordable avenues is a consequence of great financial crisis as a large number of bank lenders decrease their mortgage exposure following the 2008 crash. You know what, Miss Whitney? They're called guard guardrails for a reason.
Okay. Because back in, you know, uh, prior to 2008, you can, you could write your income on a napkin and get a loan. (laughs) And so, like I said, certain guardrails were put into place after the great financial crisis for a reason, AKA the ones who can tap into their equity right now, even with much higher rates, the economy, et cetera, they are the ones who can. And so for the ones who cannot, they cannot for certain reasons. And I say that with love. And also contrary to what many have been led to believe, the 2008 crash was caused primarily by refinances, not purchases. So during the years of 1999 and 2008, 58% of 30 year mortgages were refinances. So what we do not need is anyone, aka Freddie Mac, who's overseen by the Federal Housing Finance Agency, whose director is appointed by the president, aka these agencies are supposed to be advocating for housing policies, not playing politics. And so, like I said, to the naked eye, when you see headlines like this floating around on the internet, you know, and when this thing goes live, this Freddie Mac, and also when it goes live, technically they put it out in the pu- for public comment for feedback. The FH, the FH, the FHFA, they want feedback, but technically no one has to approve it. The only way this thing is not going live is if the agency vetoes it. So coming to a home near you in the next, I don't know, 30 days, you know, if you hear from your cousin, your friend, your neighbor, like, oh girl, yeah, I just did a home equity loan. It was so easy to qualify. Pump your brakes. Because what they're creating is a trash solution. Why? Because they don't have a viable solution. And listen, you know, it's not like I have a solution to this. (laughs) Just to be frank. But you would think the leaders of the free world would just sit down for a second. Let's think about this, you guys. Because now with Freddie trying to loosen guidelines on 20-year second mortgages, which will cause a reduction in home equity, completely squeezing homeowners even more, which will likely result in more defaults and foreclosures because the homeowner now has way less skin in the game. AKA, it is much easier for someone to walk away from their house when there's only 5% equity, 10% equity versus if they have 60% equity. And, you know, you guys know I'm a glass half full and educated type person because I've been saying this in all my videos. I do not believe a housing crash is going to happen because the education piece, it is a complete supply and demand issue that's going on. But with them trying to insert themselves, someone's cute little grandma is going to see this headline or someone else who's not really thinking about this and they're going to tap into the equity of their home. And then what is going to happen? What is going to happen to some people who do not understand or or who are not prepared for that? And so here's where I'm at with this whole second mortgage pulling cash out thing so we can wrap this up. Number one, I wanna say thank you to all my clients on here my YouTube family who trust me with your mortgage. So many people reach out and do second mortgages all the time. So I want to say, you guys, I I do do a lot of these. I want to say there is nothing wrong with you taking cash out of your house. My thing is if you responsibly take cash out of your house, because listen, I have so many clients who have completely multiplied their wealth by leveraging themselves in real estate like completely compounded things. So if you're looking to acquire new investments, if you're looking to pay your child's tuition, or if you're looking to consolidate your debt only after you've resolved your income or spending habits, then by all means, it's a good it's a good thing for you. But I kind of feel like if you don't, if it doesn't fit in that category, then it's not a good thing for you, okay? Um. So what do you guys think about the recent promotion of second mortgages if you've heard of it if not now you know was floating around on the internet um let me know what you guys think in the comments below and until next time